I got to ask you about Kim Burrell. You know, she said a lot of things on her pulpit and people really didn't like it. They said she was being mean spirited and that she didn't feel like a woman of God and, and people went after her and then she apologized, but it, a lot of people felt like it was a half, but apologize, apology. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Because you said something that was really very important that you've had to catch yourself sitting in judgment of people. Yeah, I have I, because sometimes I've done things wrong. Like I had premarital sex, premarital sex. Mm -hmm. so I had to remember my approach even when I'm talking to my daughters. You yeah. know, it's like, and I realized that I gave myself after time, after growing, that I gave myself to people that didn't even they didn't deserve me. I didn't mm. know my own. I didn't know my own work. Work, yeah. and so what happened to my sister in Christ? But it, the thing about us. <clears throat> coming from the gospel industry, people don't give us, or even preachers, they don't give us the same amount of consideration as you would everybody else. Everybody mm. want to put us on a high platform that we don't make mistakes, that we don't say the wrong thing. We say the wrong thing just like everybody else. And it's like, this still is a human body. Mm -hmm. She may have, you know, like she said, to come back. And after she said it, she may have mean it in a, in a wrongful way because people... We all all from different walks of life, you know, yeah. and we uh, some of us are poor. Some of us have come into some riches, but that don't mean look down on anybody else. Mm -hmm. But I, I think maybe she got caught in, in, in how she phrased it mm -hmm. uh, or, or, or however. But the thing is, is you have to we have to remember that she's still a woman, you know, and she's still a human. Yeah. So we, we can't be so judgmental. See, it's like people say she's been judgmental, but they then they turn around. And then they're being judgmental as but well. See, but here's the difference, though, Tamala. We ain't, <laughs> we, we ain't professing to be the women of the cloth. We ain't professing to be pastor, you know, bevy and all of that. See, I, but, does I, that, I, no, but, that's, I, but does that make us be uh, uh, unjust where we're unworthy of forgiveness or we no, can't go? Because the reason I say that, babe, I love, I love it. I, give it to me, baby. <laughs> I love it. The reason I say that is just like me right now. I'm 56 years old. And I'm gorgeous. going through. Thank you. I'm going through menopause. I am in a different place than I was 10 years ago, mm -hmm. even five years ago, yeah. where it's like sometimes I have to catch myself because I may have one of those moments where I'm like happy. Then all of a sudden I feel a little crabby, a mm -hmm. little gripey. You know, it's yeah. like, uh, you know, testy, yeah. as yeah. my family would say. It. So it's like we have to remember, even though we are professing, but even to yourself with you being a journalist, mm -hmm. it's like, even with some things and questions you ask, some people may feel like you shouldn't ask that. Yeah. But you feel yeah. like I'm a journalist, so it's like you we have to give her we have to give each other that space. Mm -hmm. Not that we're because we're not perfect. No. That woman that woman is not perfect. And no. yes, we are pro we're proclaiming Jesus, but we're still a work in progress. Okay. All right, okay. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's get in 